Hello guys, it's me, Skeptical Nessie, and welcome back. We're standing in front of our slowly growing chest monster that I should put away today, but I don't know if I actually will. And on today's episode, we're going to be um, building walls around our village, and we're going to be... Oops. We're going to be... Um, bringing villagers over to occupy our house. In order to do that, we need so much cobblestone. The walls are going to be made out of cobblestone. And we need some andesite and some vines. But the other thing we need a bunch of is shroom lights. We need about half a stack of shroom lights, maybe even a little bit more, for this um, project. And that's that's the part that scares me. There's a horse in a hole. Hi, horse. And chickens. That's uh, interesting. Should light that up and rescue those animals. But we're not going to do that right now. That is definitely not a project for right now. So I'm going to just look in these chests really quick. And see how much cobblestone we have. And the answer is very, very little. Um, yeah. Just adding to this instead of cleaning it up like I just said I should. Oh well. Um. So we've got to gotta get cobblestone lots and lots of cobblestone my cat is currently sitting on my list of resources and I don't dare move her or she will throw a fit but I think it's 500 cobblestone that we need so oh I need to do math you should never do math on camera Let's see if I can just google it really quick All right, so I've Googled it, and rounding up, we need eight stacks of cobblestone, which means we're going to need another pickaxe. So let's just make another pickaxe. And go mining. So I'm back to the area that I've been using to collect cobblestone, and we're just gonna be mining here for a really long time. I will probably cut most, if not all, of this out, and see you guys back at the house when we're done uh, collecting. So I don't mean to drag you guys back into me uh, just punching away at this cobblestone. I know I said we'd see each other back at my house. But my cat finally moved off my resource list, and uh, I actually need 700 cobble, plus I need 200 mossy cobble. So I'm just going to get a thousand of these, which means I'm going to be here even longer than I anticipated. But that's okay. We'll just keep collecting. And we'll be back at the house in a bit. So I know I'd said I'd see you guys back at the house, but then it occurred to me the only thing I need to do at the house is just put the cobble in a chest. And there's no real reason to show you guys me doing that. So instead, here we are out at the jungle, just chopping away and collecting vines for the project. Um, for this, we're going to need 600 vines, which is about 10 stacks. Most of the vines are actually going to be used in the wall design itself. But some of them are actually going to be used to make the mossy cobble that we need because there wasn't really enough mossy cobble left at the taiga biome to be worth spending my time trying to collect it. I think I would end up just making cobble, mossy cobble anyway. So we're just going to skip the step where I am out in the taiga collecting it. I hear a skeleton... I feel a skeleton. I found this little bird swimming in the river on my way home, and I decided to rescue it. So I gave it a whole bunch of seeds, but it refused to love me. I had to give it so many seeds. 
but now he's mine and we're gonna take him back to the house and put him with the little red bird so now we need to get a whole bunch of andesite which i don't even know where any is so i'm actually gonna have to go digging around and try and find some shouldn't be the hardest thing to find I know I said we would be getting andesite, but I'm going to do the lanterns real quick because I think it might actually use up all of my iron. Yeah, that's going to use all of my iron. <laughs> I still need more even. Um, so let's go mining for iron and andesite then. I almost fell. This does show promise, though. So let's head down here. Oh, <gasps> so many creepers! No. Don't have any blocks. No. Oh. That almost killed me. So I got all of the andesite that we need, but we need a lot more iron. So I'm going to venture down in this cave and see if I can find any more iron. So we got the lanterns that we need and the andesite. That just means we need a lot of oak leaves. So many oak leaves. So I'm going to grab the shears. Where did I put the shears? Shears that are here. And I'm actually going to need to make like two more pair of shears at least. Hi sheep. the oak leaves from over this way. So we're going to need to put our gold boots on so we can go to the nether and get the um, shroom lights that we need for this. Now the main question is, where did I put the gold boots after I reorganized everything? And I think they're probably in this barrel down here. Let's see. Yes, there they are. And...
Okay, let's go this way. <clears throat> and then collect these shroom mites. Okay, we managed to get all of the shroom lights that we need, so we can exit the nether now, luckily. I've gone around and I have cleaned up the area a bit, removed some flowers and grasses so it's easy to build um, what we need to. So now it's time to do the time lapse of the build. The um, walls are going to be kind of a ramshackle looking broken down cobblestone style. No! No, 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 no.
I don't have the kind of food required to fight them. Oh my goodness. Are they faster than they used to be? I swear they are. Ow. As you saw in that replay mod, we got the walls completely done around the village. And as I said, it is a little lopsided looking right now because we only have the two houses here. But here in the center is going to be a greenhouse and then there's going to be houses over there as well. So when I'm done, it will actually be a pretty um, close knit little village. So now that we have done that, we just need to light this area up. Let me eat some melons really quick. All right, now that I'm done stuffing my face, we need to light this area up. And for that, I'm actually going to use a mini HUD because I've got the light layer overlay. So we just need our shroom blocks and we need oh and we need some moss carpets from over here so as i was saying we have i have the um mini hud light overlay so if you see zero on a block that means something can spawn and with the new light changes in minecraft 
Uh, if there's a one or higher, uh, nothing can spawn. There are some exceptions to that, but none of the mobs that we care about uh, when it comes to protecting a villager can spawn. We should fill this hole in. So, I am going to just run around and make sure all of these are a one or higher, and I'll see you when that's done. Alright, so I'm just taking a quick look around and making sure that all of the spawnable spaces are lit up. Looking good. This needs a little bit of terraforming here. Okay, all of the spawnable spaces appear to be lit up. So let's just take this dirt and do the terraforming over here before I forget and cover this hole up. I'm paranoid. <gasps> Found a spot. This roof looks fine. And I'm pretty sure the other one is fine because it has a fireplace on top. But we'll check it to be safe. I think they all have lanterns inside of them. Yeah, that's all. That's all good. And then over here, I'm going to check inside and then on the roof as well. mini hood now we can go get some villagers in our boat and bring them over and here we go hello good sirs trees. Yeah, we can pick our trees.
Okay. Made it back. My third villager. I was thinking as I was coming over here that we're going to need to block off the barn because he's going to try and claim these barrels as his profession. And I don't want him to do that. So. I'm just going to use some netherrack to block the barn off. And I'm also going to block off the house because I think there's also barrels in the house. There's also a bed, so he might try and go to the bed. Alright, villager. Here you are. Do you want a profession? Yeah. Come on. We got one brought back and he apparently decided he wanted to be the farmer which is cool I'm not gonna lock those traits in yet but let's go get his friend and call this episode done Stop double clicking. We did it. We got them both here. I don't think this guy realizes that there is a lectern over here. Uh, let's see. Sir, would you like to be a librarian? Huh? Librarian? Yeah? I don't know where your, uh, your friend is, but... go yeah welcome home sir where's your friend at oh, he's composting let's see you like the carrots yeah don't worry I'm gonna build you a 
some crops next episode. Yeah. Once you can actually use, not just the, the decorative ones. And with that, we conclude today's adventure. I will be setting their trades next episode, as well as setting up some crops so the farmer can actually um, produce some carrots so that he and this uh, librarian over here can make us some babies. And I think that will be, yeah, that will be pretty much all we do next episode, as well as probably have to go iron mining because I use so many lanterns this episode. Anyway, thanks so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time. Bye!